Hey guys, it's Mersey Girls. Girls. Welcome back to the sixth episode of Be Heard with Mersey Girls. Thank you all so much for the artwork you've been sending using the hashtag Be Heard MG. We have added some more and it's looking so incredible, so keep them coming. So we want to thank you guys for all the support that you've given the series and I want to personally thank you for all the kind messages that I received from last week's episode. We're going to try not to cry this time, <laughs> but thank you for all the support because we won't be able to do this without you guys. So someone asked us if we'd be happy to hear a story from a boy and we just wanted to let you know that that is 100% fine. We're happy to hear stories from everyone and we actually um, read out a story from a boy last week and we do try to get to everyone's story on every single social, me social media platform so be sure to use the um, hashtag BeHeardMG. Um, this week we're going to be looking at the topic of discrimination. It's a topic that really affects far too many people and is definitely widespread. Um, we just feel that people can be far too judgmental and it's something that definitely needs to stop. So there are many reasons why it, well, reasons that it is against the law to discriminate against anyone because of age, <laughs> okay. right. being or becoming a transsexual, being married or in a civil partnership, being pregnant or on maternity leave, disability, race including colour, nationality, ethnic or national origin, religion, belief or lack of religion, gender, sexual orientation, and these are all called protected characteristics. So we found this from the government's website um, when we were doing our research and it says, you're protected from discrimination at work, in education, as a consumer. Did I say that weird? When using public services, when buying or renting property, as a member or guest of a private club or association, and you're legally protected from discrimination by Equality Act 2010, which is the law. Despite all this legal protection, it doesn't seem to be putting a stop to the problem, and that was really highlighted to us when we saw all your stories that you sent in. We saw it was really widespread and affected like a lot of you on a day-to-day -day basis. What are your thoughts on discrimination? I think that it must be really hard to police like this situation because what if you have no proof or evidence? I could say to you that you've just discriminated against me. Yeah, and, and I could just deny it. Exactly, and then you've got no evidence and then no one's going to get, yeah. like, mm -hmm. you know. So I think it must be really hard to sort that kind of situation out. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think people do discriminate? Do you think, I think, maybe, I'm going to answer my own question. <laughs> <laughs> That maybe like people are scared of things that they don't understand. <laughs> no, I agree with no, that. Yeah, I think that like if people are in like a friendship group and then their friends are discriminating against someone, they they might <laughs> discriminate. <laughs> the mess <Mers> girl. <laughs> They're discriminating against someone, then they might be too afraid to like stand up for the other person, um, so they might just go along with the group. Mm. Yeah, and they might be afraid to stand up for minority groups because then it kind of outcasts them as yeah. well and they might become like sort of part of the people being discriminated mm. against. I think ignorance is like or like kind of not being taught about it is a huge part. Definitely. Yeah, yeah like so. it happens so much that I didn't even know that there was a law you wouldn't think yeah. that there was because yeah. people just didn't stop doing it. To it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We would genuinely love to have the time to tell everyone's stories but we have picked a few that highlighted the different ways in which people have been discriminated against in their lives so I will be first if you want. Okay. So, um, my story is from a boy, which is great. We're really happy that it's going to get a variety of yeah. people. And basically, at college, <laughs> Snoopy, at college, people constantly make fun of him um, and say about his gender because he's transgender. Um, and in the changing rooms, it says they all give me weird looks because they don't understand me and they giggle at me. Um, and he says that he literally broke down and felt like like no one cares about him and no one understands him. It says that they make fun of the clothing that he wears and um, this this bit like really got to me because it says that people say I'm doing it for attention when all I want to be is who I am. Um, so that just like really got to me because like we find it easy to be who we are yeah. but for people who don't like it, you just want to be who you are and it must yeah. be really hard to. It must be really hard. Yeah definitely. Um, and then also people discriminate against him because he doesn't live with his parents and his dad's passed away um, and so obviously that's led to like suicide attempts and self-harm which is just so horrible but because of other people they like you do that yeah um 
But then it says that he's very thankful for the head MG because it shows that there's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel and the Mersey gas fandom, like, he's very close to everyone in that. Um, but I think it is really good having, like, a support, like, kind of network where you can talk to people. Yeah. Like, even on social media, like, our fandom. Yeah. Which is great. But it just, like, really made me upset when he said, all I'm trying to be is who I am. Yeah, we don't even think twice about that. No. We're just accepted, but... It's, it must be so hard to not be accepted. And, mm, yeah, and yeah. he like deserves to be happy. Yeah. And, like he just deserves to be who he is. And like just... everyone deserves to be who they are. Yeah. Like no matter what, and if you want to like change your gender to be happier, like there's no stopping you from doing that. You can do that if that's going to make you happier. Yeah, just do what makes you happy in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So like we need to all accept that people can change to be whoever they want if it's going to make them happier. Because mm -hmm. we should just want everyone to be happy. Yeah. Do you want nice. me to go next? Yeah, you can go. So, my story is about religion and discriminating against someone for their religion. So, basically, this girl is Jewish and for most of her life she's felt ashamed of it because she went to a private school where most people are Christian. Um, and there are only a couple of Jewish people, so sometimes she felt left out in the sense that she would sometimes wish that she could become Christian. And then she'd get more and more ashamed of her religion, which is so sad. That is very sad. Um, Sometimes small racist or anti-Semitic comments have been made, but I just brush them off because I know it's something I'm going to have to live with. Oh, that's so sad. Like, you shouldn't have to just brush them off, like, no. they shouldn't be happening. Um, and she gets scared of, like, war and things happening once again, like, becoming the norm. Yeah. Um, and then she has a friend in school who's also Jewish. That's good that you have someone, like, who can understand with you. Um, but once she was off and someone asked this girl why her friend was off and this boy replied to her that she's in the gas chambers which i couldn't believe that when i read it it was the most shocking thing really bad. um and she said herself that she found it really disturbing and worrying and it is yeah really especially worrying. are they are they children yeah like off the younger generation and that's like showing what the future's going to be like if that's yeah. there yeah, exactly that's like who. yeah so anyway that was and everyone continued to laugh at that joke the joke which isn't funny see that's like the going in the like going through with the group yeah like, yeah, like the by, like kind of like bystanding it and just going along with the crowd mm. yeah like you don't want to be like outcast like you said before like if they were by themselves they wouldn't have like made that joke but because yeah. they're part of a group yeah. they feel more like secure within yeah, yeah. you're yeah. probably glad that they got like a laugh yeah. Yeah. yeah she just wanted to say that although she's jewish and she has friends who are all different religions and ethnicities um, they all respect and love each other for who they are, all regardless of their background. And now she feels proud of her religion. So oh, that's really good. Cool. Like being true to yourself. Be proud, yeah. Just be yourself. Be happy. Okay, my story. Right. Um. And so a story that I have picked is from a girl who said that she has cerebral palsy and she's faced discrimination due to her disability and her weight. Um. She barely had any friends because of this, and she was always left out, which is really sad. Um. She said that. People even kicked her once, like when she was in a wheelchair, and oh which like she was it's even tense of violence, and um, and she was just really like hated on a lot. She says that she thinks she gets excluded because of ignorance. And I think that's a really clever thing to see as a like a young person that you can see like past, yeah, yeah. like and be even more mature it. than them. Um, and she says that sports wise, it's hard, but it like helps her get her mind off things, and it has really helped. And that's where she's met true friends. Um, oh. She said that discrimination is really hard, um, and again, she said it is down to ignorance. Um, but um, there's always something good to make her smile through, and watching you girls dance inspires me not to give up. Oh. So positive. Yeah, That's it was so this cute. really sad story that you've had to face those challenges, but we're really happy to hear the yeah, like, positive and ending. We say this in every single video, but really, like in every story, in at least one there's always sport that helps yeah. someone so it definitely helps get your mind off things and make more friends so yeah like and often you meet people at sport who have like who are similar to you because yeah. you both have a yeah. common interest and that might stop like bullying discrimination mm -hmm. if you're all so um this was from a girl but it's actually about her brother so they both got the same job together at the same time but the brother has depression anxiety and low self-esteem so he wasn't very confident making friends and was getting bullied outside of the work for his quiet personality. And then it started to happen inside of work as well. And then a few weeks later, the manager shouted at him, told him he hadn't made any friends and was not fitting in and no one really gets on with him. So she sacked him. 
So she have helped him instead yeah, of exactly. Yeah. But like you, your job should be based on how well you do it, not yeah. whether you make friends know, or not. And it's all about your personality. Yeah. It? So the dad like called up the business and was saying like that's discrimination for getting rid of him just because like he wasn't fitting in with other people. Um, but the brother like he took it to heart and he became very depressed from it. He like attempted um to commit suicide as well. Like with your story, there were suicide attempts and stuff. Yeah. Ended up in hospital for like two weeks all because of this. So one thing that someone had said, um, and they thought they'd lost him, but luckily they still have him. Um, but then she goes on to say, just for being discriminated in work for his personality and being different, he had tried to end his life. No one really understands that discrimination can actually affect someone that badly to take mm -hmm. their own life away. It's horrible, and um, she's currently still working there, but it's really hard for her to keep like going around. Mm -hmm. But she just like keeps at it. Um, but she wants this story to help people like understand how bad discrimination can really yeah. affect people. Like people That's might so not sad. realize like, the impact. Yeah. Like people don't realize like how they discriminate people without even like noticing. So like a comment that will like go around like not as much anymore, but like that so gay or what you're doing is like and that's like using the word gay in a derogatory term, isn't yeah. it? So it's like that is discriminating in itself and people don't even realise they're doing it. It's, yeah, you know I, I mean? remember in our school they tried to say you get attention if they heard the word gay used like that. Yeah. But like it didn't really stop people from Yeah. Like they mm -hmm. didn't realise how wrong it is. And they didn't they, realise what an impact they might have on yeah, certain people. Like like that comment that that woman made to him saying that he hasn't fitted in and hasn't made friends like made him want to end his life mm. like people might not realize like they're discriminating but like actually just think about what you're saying before you I speak. don't think you should be allowed to suck someone either for their personal no life. unless I'm, obviously I'm they're being very horrible I'm pretty sure that's like illegal yeah, yeah. I, I thought way. that would be yeah. from what we were saying before yeah. as well yeah. before this episode I had no idea that discrimination was illegal because people do it so often mm. yeah. so you wouldn't think it's illegal and I'm not very educated on discrimination like it's one area around well, that just shows that that's why more education needs to be yeah, done. Yeah, exactly. this can help. Is that everyone's always done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been hated or discriminated against? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? That's an Eminem song. I, I love Eminem. Oh, because that was your line? Like, yeah, my line was saying, nice have twist. you ever been, have you ever experienced <gasps> discrimination? So, have you ever, yeah. I haven't ever, I don't you. think any of us. Um, I haven't. Well, I don't know, like, like, I really wanted to audition for the Royal Ballet, like, the junior associates thing. But then, because of my back, um, like, we decided not to, like, let me audition because they would just reject me because they like people who are, like, really, like, what's it called? The right posture. Like, yeah, like, they, they look for a certain type of, like, body shape. And so they would never say yes to me because my hips and everything are wonky. So I don't know if that's discrimination, that is, but, like, mm -hmm. because of my back, they would they wouldn't let me do it. Yeah, yes. I think that is so And like that was always like yeah. one, a dream of mine as well, so. But then like, obviously I didn't have to reason because I wouldn't be like here with these girls if I had done it. Um, But yeah, it was kind of really helpful at the time because you even got in like, uh -huh, not she was like living like what I want to do and she didn't even like really want to do that. Mm. So it was like hard, but like at the time I didn't realise it was discrimination. Yeah, I think I think it probably is, and sport can have both good and bad things yeah, with discrimination. Because we were saying earlier, in football, there's quite a good like way of stopping it. Because if like people are racist on the pitch and they do get banned, and that maybe mm -hmm. stops people. Yeah. But at the same time, like like I know, like in sport, you sometimes have to look a certain way, don't you? So yeah. as dancers, like the ideal is like tall, skinny, yeah. or like footballers, you have to be tall if you're in defence and stuff like that. Yeah, you have to. Yeah look a certain yeah, way I and that's kind of in, in dance it is getting like more accepted like yeah different like there's a lot of people on Instagram who are like different shapes who are incredible dancers yeah, yeah. but like like as you said especially ballerinas you know that's yeah skinny. that's like the stereotype yeah. yeah definitely but what do you guys think that we can do about the hate and the judgment like we say it every time but education is really key and especially if like at home your family kind of indoctrinating a certain discrim discriminating view to you, then maybe at school they can kind of break that mould of thought and mm -hmm. you can learn at school that that's not the way to think and be educated from a young age to try and stop it. Yeah, and I think also like we need to talk about it more because yeah. I know when I was little I used to always go up to my mum and like question her if I saw someone who maybe didn't look like me. Yeah. And not in a nasty way, just because I I've not I wasn't used to yeah. it. You wouldn't know when no, you were so young. I think that's what more people need to do is like if they're not sure then ask. Yeah. Because yeah. like people need to realise that people are different but not different on the inside. It's just 
they have something that's different from what we don't have. Yeah. But everyone's amazing, so... And, like, just because, for example, someone's, like, sexual orientation might be different, that doesn't make them, like, any different to, mm-hmm. like, us guys. Like, yeah. skin colour, hair colour, eye colour, that's all just, like, physical characteristics and it doesn't change what's, like, underneath all that. It what's, really doesn't. What is you? It really doesn't change. Mm-hmm. I guess the positive about it is that discrimination is illegal. Yeah. yeah. So you can go through, like, a process to try and get justice for it if you are being discriminated against. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching and we hope that this episode can maybe reach out to people who have been discriminated against or maybe it can reach out to the people who don't realise that they are discriminating against other people. Um, there's just a few nice quotes that I, I want to read off here so I get them right. But just know that it's what's on the inside that counts and remember it's okay to be different. It takes nothing to join the crowd but it takes everything to stand alone. Be you and be the best you. Mm, I really like that. Definitely. We've put helplines in the description below um, of organisations that you can contact if you feel unable to reach out to anyone else. And we're always really happy for you to contact us. Make sure to use the hashtag BeheadMG. The topic for next week is social media. And there's this seems to be like the be all and end all at the moment. And there's so many good things about social media, but there's also so many bad things. Yeah. So we always hear stories about like catfishing and like online yeah. grooming and things like that. But then also social media can be a place where people come together. Like we wouldn't be able to do this series without yeah. social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that is important. So please send in your stories of examples that you've had on social media. They may be positive or negative. Um, so often people say they are talking to people who don't appear to be who you think they are. Um, you may have also been trolled or even bullied on social media. Or you may have been the person um, bullying others but just not realising the effect it's had on other people. Um, also we know that probably we are a bit too obsessed with social media and you maybe too so send us examples of how you feel you're a bit addicted to it um, and yeah make sure to use the hashtag beheadmg so i'm gonna change the topic completely like we do every <laughs> single week um, but i just wanted to say make sure to check out our other weekly video hashtag challenge mess girls um, it's out every wednesday and we compete in crazy challenges um, against each other, set by you, to see who will be crowned the ultimate Mersey girl. Um, you can find all of these Be Heard and Challenge Mersey Girls episodes on our website, which you can find if you search merseygirls.co.uk, and it'll also be in the description if you can't find it. Um, so yeah, f- make sure to check them out. Thank you so much for everyone taking the time to watch all of these, and remember to comment down below if you have any topics you would like us to cover. Bye, Bye guys! Keep smiling! Keep shining, shining, shining. (laughs) (laughs) She's found that the whole time. (laughs)